No, no, I didn't say that. Of course I like you, Billy. I like you a lot. It's just, um, there's no place for us to be alone. They are? Your parents are going to be gone all weekend? That's great. I'm hungry. Mom said if she's not home by four, you're supposed to start dinner. I'm on the phone, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Hey, Heather, you know Mom doesn't want Kevin near the appliances. That incident with the microwave was months ago. We almost had a meltdown. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Heather, get off the phone and start dinner. One more minute, Mom. Heather, we've been through this. Call me later. Hi, Mom. Mm. Hi. Well, how's everybody's day? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. So, how was college, Mom? Yeah, you a lawyer yet? <laughs> no, honey, not for a few more years. I don't think we'll last that long. <laughs> I know things are a little crazy around here. We're trying to get some help. And you kids can do a little extra. Mom, I'm gonna go feed my hamster now, okay? Oh, fine, honey. I'm taking pretty good care of Vinky, huh? Yes, he's a very lucky hamster. <laughs> So, did anyone call from the domestic agency? Not on that phone. <laughs> well, I don't have my own. Heather. Oh, everything's my fault. <laughs> uh, Mom? Kevin? I'm proud of you, Mom. Well, I'm proud of you too, son. No, you're not. It's my report card. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Yes? Five D's and a C? What happened? I don't know. I mean, you've never been a straight-A student, and that's okay, but you've always managed to get at least one B, sometimes two B's. Or not two B's. <laughs> well, I hope you got that out of your system, young man, because your father is going to be absolutely furious. You think so? I mean, uh, you think so? <laughs> Is this the Owens residence? Uh-huh. And I take it you're one of them? Uh-huh. Is there someone here who speaks English? Can I help you? Good afternoon. I'm Mr. Belvedere. Are you Mrs. Owens? Uh-huh. And the family consists of you, one husband and three children? Yes. Nothing in the oven? What? Well, that should suit me just fine. What? Congratulations, Mrs. Owens. I'm your new housekeeper. <laughs> Streets on the China never mattered before. Who cares? When you drop kick your jacket as you came through the door, no one glares. But sometimes things get turned around and no one spared. All hands look out below. There's a change in the status quo. Gonna need all the help that we can get. According to our new arrival, life is more than mere survival. We just might live a good life yet. Mr. Uh... That's Belvedere. Lynn Belvedere. Lynn? That's a girl's name. <laughs> Wesley. Wesley? <laughs> a difficult birth, I take it. Uh, Mr. Belvedere, did the uh, agency send you over? Is there something wrong? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's just that I wasn't expecting someone like you. No one ever expects someone like me. 
<laughs> yes, well, regardless, before I hire anybody, I have to make sure that they have certain qualifications. Yes. I mean, uh, do you know anything about cooking? Cooking? Isn't that where you put raw things over fire until they get hot and you eat them? <laughs> yes, I've done that. Good. I assume you'll want references. Oh, yes, of course. Uh-huh. I, uh, <clears throat> I take it this is the Winston Churchill? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Well, I can't call him. <laughs> well, this is all fine, but there's house cleaning, laundry, and what about the children? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can stay. <laughs> Providing they behave themselves. Well, I'm very sorry, but I can't make a decision until my husband comes home. I can wait. I really don't know when that's going to be. He'll be home in 20 minutes. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere, I, uh, I have to see to dinner uh, and my homework. <laughs> so uh, why don't you just sit down and make yourself comfortable? Well... <laughs> Kids, how many times have I told you that the couch is not a closet? <laughs> now take these things upstairs and do something with them. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Belvedere, can I get you something? Oh, no, no, no. This popcorn will be plenty. <laughs> Cut's boiling over. Uh Thank you. Oh, uh, some Billy called. I was here. Yeah, he said something about needing an answer. Oh. He's in my algebra class. He needs lots of answers. He's stupid. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, what you doing? Oh, just straightening up a bit. Yeah, well, we don't go in for that sort of stuff around here. Oh. Huh. So you, uh, didn't find anything, did you? Such as? Nothing. I mean, I just lost Inky's ball. Inky? Is he the black sheep of the family? No, he's a hamster. I'm taking real good care of him. Bravo. Yeah, because if I show how I can be responsible, they said I can have a dog. A real pet. I had a mongoose once. <laughs> had to get rid of him. My friends couldn't bring their cobras over. I'm home. Hey, where's my high big boy kiss? <laughs> I haven't even been hired yet. <laughs> Who are you? Belvedere. Lynn Belvedere. I'm George. You're late, George. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. Have you met Mr. Belvedere yet? Yeah, I think so. He's applied to be our housekeeper. That's funny. <laughs> well, I told him that I couldn't make a decision until we both had a chance to discuss it. Oh, good. Not today. <laughs> the thing is, uh, my wife and I are looking for somebody a little more... Uh... Mediocre? Yeah, right. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, them's the breaks. Yep, them sure is. <laughs> Please say goodbye to the children. Right. <laughs> so, do we dress for dinner? <laughs> oh, George! 
Um, Mr. Belvedere and I were just discussing entrapment. Great. Speaking of which, it's still snowing outside. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, uh, how is everybody's dinner? Oh, a very, uh, distinctive casserole, Mrs. Owens. <laughs> yeah, it's tuna. <laughs> really? Pretty good, huh? Oh, it's delicious. Uh, and whose idea was the crushed potato chips on top? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> oh, out of marshmallows? I'm going to check the weather again. Um, can I be excused? Uh, yeah, me too. I'm going to go feed my hamster now. Yeah, just clear the table first, and you, finish your milk. I'll check the weather. <laughs> Don't bother. It's still a blizzard out there. Oh, dear. Well, I guess I'd better go make up the guest room. Looks like you'll be spending the night. I certainly hate to impose. Force yourself. <laughs> uh, Dad? Yeah, buddy. It's my grades. Oh? I don't believe this. This is absolutely the worst report card you've ever brought into this house. I know. A D in woodshop. <laughs> How the hell do you expect to get into college with grades like these? You want to go through what I went through? Breaking your back trying to get somewhere? No, sir. Well, you better straighten up, Junior. Or one day you'll wake up on the wrong end of a wheelbarrow. So, I, I guess this kind of blows our deal, huh? What deal? You know, you, you said if I kept up my grades, I could get my driver's license. All right. Well, you certainly don't deserve it. I certainly don't. But with your mother at school and me so busy now, we're going to need someone to drive. What? <laughs> so you can get your license. Just get those grades up, you hear me? <laughs> Happy motoring. <laughs> Here, Inky. Here, Inky. Inky. Can I help you? <laughs> That you, Mr. Belvedere? Yes, Wesley. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Just a little relaxation technique I learned from a Himalayan yogi. I like boo-boo. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> I take it Master Inky is among the missing. Uh, yeah, so. So? Did he escape just now? Well, not just now. Oh, today? No. Since the last autumnal equinox? <laughs> He's been gone for three weeks. I see. Then who's been eating all that lettuce? I have. <laughs> it's been a nightmare. <laughs> pretending to feed him, pretending to play with him. I even took an empty box to school one day for show and tell. Yes, living a lie can be exhausting. I'm just scared Dad's going to find him dead in his shoe. Or his shorts. Or where he hides his playboys or something. I'm never going to get a dog. Well, Wesley, I think if you tell your parents what has happened, what you've been through, I feel certain they'll understand. And get me a dog? No. <laughs> But they're overrated anyway. <laughs> now, scoot. Well, I guess I could tell him I'm going to the mall with Angela. Hey, maybe there's three of us could go, you know, see a movie or something. 
I'm not chickening out. I want to be alone with you. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye, Billy. Rates cheaper after midnight? <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Valentine. I just had to call a friend. It's none of my business. Right. Right. Well, um, good night. Be careful. Huh? Going upstairs, getting into bed. Be careful. It can be treacherous in the dark. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh -huh. That must be Kevin. Kevin? Oh, hello, Mr. Belvedere. Nice to see you. Everything all right? Oh, fine. Fine. Going my way? Yes, sir. Thank you. Getting acquainted with the feel of the wheel? Yes. Yes, I am. You must be looking quite forward to the open road. Boy, and how. Well, I'm sure you'll make a fine driver. No, I won't. I mean, I can't even leave a room without bumping into something. How am I supposed to drive a car? I'm going to run over a nun. I just know it. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin, that's ridiculous. I can't drive. Kevin, what's the problem? I told you. You can master this machine. No, I can't. It must be something else. No, it mustn't. Kevin, why won't you drive? Because it doesn't stop there. I mean, I get my license. The next thing you know, I'm buying gas. True. <laughs> I mean, you heard my father. I've got all these new responsibilities. Before I know it, I'll be married. Three kids, second mortgage, talking to some insurance guy about... Term versus whole life. Bit of a brooding lad, aren't we? I just don't want to grow up. Well, neither do I. But I'm pretty much reconciled myself to it. Really? Just between you and me, I still allow myself 15 minutes of childish behavior every day, whether I need it or not. What? Huh? Roadrunner cartoons. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> I guess I did get a little carried away, huh? A little. Mm. By the way, contrary to popular belief, bad grades don't necessarily stunt your growth. Oh, no, my, my grades weren't so bad. Oh. I forged my report card. Huh? <laughs> Changed all my B's to D's. Huh? <laughs> Except the one in Woodshop. That was authentic. <laughs> Good night, Kevin. Good night, Mr. Belvedere. Oh, thanks for the lift. Good morning. Uh, morning. What's all this? It's called breakfast. <laughs> Just my way of thanking you for your family's hospitality. Thank you. Hey, what smells so good? Oh, it's you. <laughs> good morning, George. Sleep well? Like a log. No kidding. <laughs> Bacon and biscuits are in the warmer. Scotch eggs in the oven. Should be ready in about five minutes. Hi, Mom. Good morning, children. Good morning, Wesley. What's going on, Mr. Belvedere? Actually, I'm hitting the road now. Where are you going? I'm not sure. I've always wanted to see Terre Haute. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Well, be good, everyone. Look, uh, Belvedere. It's nothing personal, okay? It's just with the two of us gone so much, we need more than just someone to cook and clean. I mean, we need someone who can relate to the kids. 
Yes, I certainly see your point. Oh, by the way, Kevin has changed his grades downward. I'd ask him why. Heather doesn't want to go all the way to Billy's house. <laughs> and Wesley, I think Wesley would prefer a dog to this rather dusty but durable creature. Kiki! Thank you for sharing him with me. Well, goodbye. Mr. Belvedere! Mr. Belvedere! Did I miss something? I don't think we both did. Hey, you can't leave. Oh? It's gonna start snowing any minute. Wesley, it's perfectly beautiful outside. It's always like that before the acid rain starts. <laughs> Wesley. Mom, you can't let him leave. Oh, well, honey, your father has made his decision. Hey! Actually, it does look a bit hazardous out, in a clear sort of way. George, maybe Mr. Belvedere should wait until we're sure it's safe. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> So you want to stay or what? <laughs> Wesley? Yeah, I'll take it upstairs. Well, breakfast must be ready by now. Mr. Belvedere, would you care to join us? Thank you. You sure you made enough scotch eggs? <laughs> Oddly enough, I made one extra. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> An American journal. The Odyssey continues. I find fate has deposited me with the Owens family, a somewhat provincial household in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. Although the individual members seem well-intentioned enough, they do seem a bit out of touch with one another. But... With a certain amount of patience and direction, I'm sure I can whip them into shape. Even George. <laughs> They're damn lucky to have me. 